my policy, our, our scope of collections uh, involves collecting information, obviously, on the Defense Language Institute and the Foreign uh, Language Program, the Defense Foreign Language Program. That's, that's the primary purpose, it's where the money comes from to, to, to pay our salaries. Uh, but associated with that is the installations that we operate off of. So that would, of course, include the historic city of Monterey. So we have wonderful collections on the old post, uh, going back to the uh, founding of the, of the post during the Mexican-American War, a few things on that. A lot of stuff on the early 20th century history of the post, the classic cavalry periods, all the photos of guys on horses and stuff like that. We have a lot, large number of photos uh, in that collection. We also, um, by association, because the Presidio was responsible for what is left of Fort Ord, and Fort Ord was most responsible for the Presidio, uh, there's this, group, this uh, a relationship between these two organizations. We collect a lot of information on the history of Fort Ord. Because we're the only Army archive on the West Coast, uh, we collect a lot of information on just the general history of the Army in Central California, California at large. Uh, I, won't, I won't say no to that. Uh, so that's basically the three areas of our collections. But I will say that uh, we have a lot of information for folks who are interested in uh, uh, genealogy. We have